Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, let me thank you for your continuous expose on many of the happenings in our country. Our country's electoral commission, per its mandate in Article 45, conducted and supervised presidential and parliamentary elections in Ghana across the 275 constituencies in Ghana, divided across the 16 regions of Ghana. Evidence available to us formal from, from collated pink sheets from polling stations across the country and specific to the constituencies in Ghana puts the NDC in lead with 140 seats parliamentary seats won, 140. That makes us the majority party whilst we wait for the declaration of the presidential outcome. Understandably, you should know why we have the parliamentary results and we do not have the presidential results yet. With the presidential results, the chairperson of the electoral commissioner is the returning officer. With parliamentary results per CI 127, I'm holding a copy, the electoral commissioner appoints returning officers and counting is done at various polling stations. Polling stations results as signed onto pink sheet, validated, gives the NDC 140 parliamentary seats. I will share the list, but note that there are attempts by the new patriotic party government led by Nana Adudankwa Akufuado shamefully to want to subvert the sovereign will of the people of Ghana and even to reduce our parliamentary numbers by five, targeting the Takwa constituency, Sepshiwiasu constituency, Upper Denchira West, Sini West, and Techima South. You saw what happened in Techima South. Coalition. They went back to the coalition center. And distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we demand respect to the letter and spirit of the laws of Ghana, including CI 127, which governs the conduct of the elections. In Techima South, the NDC candidate won. Having won, you, said, you saw them use the military and professionally. Guns do not vote and guns will not make Nana Adudankwa the president of this republic. We will resist oppressors rule. We will resist oppressors rule. So in Tachima South, they just use guns to shoot and to scare away our agents. Our agents have not signed, but at least even that one, the EC itself have confirmed that they are not aware of any changes. Neither are we aware of any changes, nor we will accept any changes in Tachima South. We know we have won. You can go through the pink sheet, polling station by polling station. It's an NDC one seat. In Upper Denchira West, which they are also contesting, and for the media again, we are sending a clear warning to the military, the Ghana Armed Forces, that their loyalty is to the state and the Republic of Ghana, and not to elected officials. If they intimidate us further, we will respond appropriately. Citizens too, we have power. They cannot intimidate us continuously with their guns as they did in Techima. Even in Savlugu, when they noticed that they desperately needed some one or two, three more seats to form a majority, to deny the NDC the majority, they started shooting at the Savlugu police station. They stood their grounds. I asked Idris Ngumbiangpang to stay in if it meant even dying with the last bullet so that the evidence is shown. When it was counted, the NDC won. And they killed, uh, and, one, in the and they killed one person in Savlugo, Techima too. Needless, needless bloodshed in the name of somebody wanting to, by force, consolidate his hold on political power. Unacceptable and shameful behavior of the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. In Upper Denchira West, even after coalition and reconciliation, it is still the NDC which won. They have threatened the electoral officer and saying that they will eliminate and kill him if he so declares the results in favor of the NDC. In Upper Denchira West, we are saying results so coalitated in the pink sheet. 
And ladies and gentlemen of the press, let me put up this matter very strongly. Coalition centers are centers for aggregation of votes from polling stations. They are not to be used for purposes of recounting by the provisions of CI 127. Coalition centers are necessarily and primarily for aggregation of results from the various polling stations. Like you take Tamale Saf, you take each polling station and then you know and authenticate the results. So coalition center, as they are using the military to compel a recount itself, is legally untenable. It is not legally permissible to do recount compulsorily using the military to intimidate electoral officers to do recount. Our laws does not recognize that. And swapping the outcome. Coalition centers, I repeat, are for aggregation of polling center results. Recount can only be done at the polling stations and probably in law by an order of a court if so demanded. So take note. Uh, apart from Upper Denture West, we're simply saying that allow the returning officer to function. In Sydney West, one polling station, the MPP tax took away a ballot box to deny the NDC its victory in Sydney West. Whilst voting was still ongoing, when they took the ballot box, only the EC and the NDC seals were intact. What happened to the MPP seal after retrieving it? What happened? They retrieved it. So it should tell you, now the modus operandi is to use the security and the military to intimidate and shoot. Guns don't install a president. Guns don't. And we will not be intimidated. In that constituency, Excellency John Mahama won the election. In many areas, they are trying to rewin using military brute force five constituencies to an HS as a majority party. We are saying that let the pink sheet speak. Let the pink sheet speak per polling station and its aggregation accordingly done at coalition centers. Coalition centers are not centers primarily for recount of votes. The military must stay away and desist away from the use of guns to scare away our NDC supporters. In the Eastern region, for instance, the Electoral Commission Office faxed a different result to the Regional Coalition Center, which was only signed by the new Patriotic Party agent. How can that happen if the EC is not becoming an extension of the new Patriotic Party? Uh, 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 uh. After the original was declared, we have videos of the declaration of the results in the Eastern region, constituency by constituency, they found it unacceptable because they must work out their mathematics. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, let me now come to this important document. Yes, we know that the chairperson of the Electoral Commission is the returning officer for the presidential elections. I'll take you through Form 9, Form 9 of CI 127. It provides, and I read, Presidential Election Results Coalition Form, Name of Constituency and District, Polling Station Code. So we expect that the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, in declaring the presidential results, will provide detail of the over 33,000 polling stations and their codes, and the respective vote received by Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Nana Adudankwa well correlated, which aggregation must give us the outcome of a presidential win. We will not accept anything other than what is provided for in law under CI 127. So presidential election resource coalition form, polling station code. So it means every police station, details must be provided. I again lead you to form 11. It's here, form 11. You also see she is to work in accord with law Presidential Regional Resource Coalition Form, name of constituency. 
So we expect that for each region, for instance, if you take northern region, you say Tamale South, Kumbungu, Savulugu, we want every single detail of the presential performance of Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Nana Adudankwa Akufu Ado, and an aggregation of it. We do not want anybody to come and say that somebody has won the election by five or six million. One, we cannot explain or understand what accounts for the aggregation and cumulative figure of five or six million. We want Form 11 to be respected, and we want uh, Form 12 is my additional evidence in law that must be provided. So I want to thank you, my And then Sefi Weasu. Sefi Weasu is one of the five. So you see a desperate government which is refusing to die. The Dagombe say that when you want to kill a snake, kill it in the head. We will kill it in their head with the parliamentary seat of 140 and parliamentary majority to trigger our performance as the presidential election. So, Chairperson of Electoral Commission, to respect the letter and spirit of the laws of Ghana, and again, the fifth constituency is Sefi Weasu that they are desperately trying to overturn. They are compelling and forcing our party agents, again, using the military. We demand professionalism from the Ghana military and the Ghana police service. They should not allow themselves to be used for purposes of intimidation. Sooner than later, we'll be there. And Excellency John Mahama will assume office as Commander-in-Chief. who will weed out, who will weed out those miscreants and unprofessionals who are misconducting themselves. We are capturing some of them on video and let them be assured. No gun will install a president in this republic. And we have alerted our supporters across the country. We will respect the sovereign will of the Ghanaian people and the legitimacy of their terms, not the threat of a gun or a weapon by any policeman or any soldier. We refuse to be intimidated. You see them outside there, tell them if they want, they should point their guns to me. I'm not a coward, and we are not cowards. Let them do it. We will not, we will not succumb or yield to those pressures. So, ladies and gentlemen of the media, demand from the chairperson of the Electoral Commission respect to CI 127 and how presidential results and its outcomes are declared and collated, consistent with constituency and polling station results and aggregation. Demand that there is no recount per our laws at coalition centers. Coalition centers are centers for aggregation of results. Parliamentary results we know because we have agents who, who aggregate police station performance and feed us in. We know we have a majority of 140. God bless.